to update your landscaping, but you want to stay with edible plants, well, let's talk about edible landscaping plants. There are many plants that are very pretty to look at, but are also edible, not only to the native wildlife, but for you as well. Some of which have incredible nutritious and medicinal benefits. So let's get to it. Our first contender is amaranth. Now amaranth is an ancient grain, but is also very beautiful. It has deep purple, red, gold, and green colors to it. It creates these beautiful feathery-like flowers and then these little tiny seeds. It also has some great resistances, such as its drought and heat resistance, making it a perfect specimen for my area. It is most tolerant to zones five to nine, so we're a little bit hotter than that. But I'm gonna try amaranth in the near future and I'll let you know how it works out for me. You can use its leaves in salads or sauteed as a green, and you can also eat the seeds. Next up is the bay laurel. Now, certainly you've heard of using bay leaves in culinary practices. Well, they come from the bay laurel. But not only is it wonderful as an herb, but it's also a beautiful tree. These are ideal for zones eight through 10, as it's a native to the Mediterranean area. It's slow growing, easily pruned, and it can also be grown in containers. So if you're in an area that gets a frost or is out of the, the comfort zone of eight to 10, you can simply grow it in a container where you can wheel it inside when the temperatures get too cold for it. If you are in its ideal zone range, you can let it grow to its full height of nearly 20 to 60 feet. It's also easy to prune, so you can shape it into a hedge or a fantastic topiary. Our next plant is beans. And I know this may seem odd for you, but have you ever actually looked at a bean plant? They come in two primary varieties, the bush bean and the trailing vine bean. Both would be really great to add to your landscaping, depending on if you need a vine or a small bush. The reason being is that their foliage is really this beautiful, dark, vibrant green, and many varieties have interesting veining, such as red and purple, which really gives them some, some contrast to your other plants that you may have in your landscape. Another benefit besides the beans, of course, that you can eat is the flowers. The flowers are these beautiful, delicate, orchid-shaped like flowers that come in very different, vibrant hues. Beautiful purples and blues and yellows and oranges. So I really encourage you to look at beans in a different light. Beans are tolerant in zones four and up. Another common vegetable plant that is probably not appreciated for its beauty is beets. The leaves on beets not only are edible just as the tubers, but they have beautiful veining. Many of the varieties have deep dark green leaves with this beautiful contrasting red veining. They're very attractive and I highly encourage you adding them to your landscape. Beets are tolerant in zones two to 11. Another favorite in the tree category is the black elderberry. We actually have a rather large population of black elderberry in our food forest, not only because of its beautiful, delicate leaf growing habitat that creates this beautiful dappling of light through its filtering through the leaves, but because of its beautiful flowers. They grow in these huge, clusters and they're this delicate lacy white texture. It's really very striking. And then once those flowers are pollinated, you get these brilliantly shiny black berries. Both the flowers and the berries are edible and you can use them to create wines, jams, or jellies. Also, they are well known for their medicinal properties. So you can use the berries in a concentrated syrup to give you a little extra boost when you're feeling down. Another plant that we use in our garden, not only for its edible properties, but for its beauty is the cranberry hibiscus. This particular hibiscus has a beautiful dark red to purple foliage and stem, as well as flowers. It is so striking in the vast sea of greens that I just really encourage you to try growing cranberry hibiscus. It is most resilient in zones eight through nine, but here we're slightly hotter than nine and it's growing just fine. 
It prunes really readily and it can grow in bright sun to slightly shady. It will have a tendency to get a little leggy in the shady areas, so you might wanna keep an eye on it and keep it well pruned. Not only are the flowers edible, but the leaves are edible as well, and I find they bring this really great citrus note to salads. So I encourage you to try out your hand at growing cranberry hibiscus. Next up, we have kale. I know there are lots of people when they hear kale, they kinda of get like, oh, really? But Kale has so many varieties and they're really a beautiful plant. To put this into perspective, we're here in Florida and so we have lots of theme parks. And I have noticed that many of the big name theme parks actually use kale in their planters. So if it's good enough for them, certainly is good enough for your garden. Kale is ideally grown in zones seven through nine. It's very nutritious and fast growing. And as you can see, this variety, it has beautiful lacy leaves that really add some texture and appeal to your garden. Did you know lavender is not only a beautiful scent, but it's also edible? It's a great plant to add to your landscape, not only for its aroma and its beauty, but for its attractant to pollinators. It's best in zones five through nine. It's cold hardy and it can be easily incorporated into salads or stir fries, as well as desserts and teas and even a bath scrub. Another plant that I've yet to try but I really wanna get my hands on is pineapple sage. This beautiful plant is best in zones eight to 11, so it's perfect for my area. It's vibrant dark red flowers and soft green foliage really bring some visual impact to your landscape, but it has a unique trait. It smells like pineapple. So it's great if you enjoy the smell of pineapple, but it also deters deer as they aren't fond of that scent. So if you live in an area where you have problems with deer, then pineapple sage might be the answer for you. Both the flowers and the leaves are edible. Last but not least is red auroch. Now I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, so pardon me if I am. This is best for zones four to eight. I haven't tried it here as we're a little on the hot side, but I think I can probably try to grow it. And once I've seen this plant, I am so intrigued. It looks similarly shaped to spinach, but it's this beautiful red from stem to leaf. It can be in the range of purple to burgundy, and just like a spinach or any other green, its leaves are perfectly good to eat, either raw, steamed, or sauteed. Now that is just the tip of the iceberg as far as beautiful plants that you can add to your landscape. What plants have you found in your area that are not only beautiful, but edible? We'd love to hear from you. Please share in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Plant Life.